This episode of Designing Minds features co-founder of Tronic Studio, Vivian Rosenthal. In the last part of this three-part series, Vivian and Jesse put their concept of synthetic manipulation to pragmatic use, creating dramatic campaigns for GE and Sony. She goes on to discuss their current labor of love, produced in partnership with the interpretive dance troupe, Misnomer. I'm Vivian Rosenthal, and I'm on Designing Minds. said we have two key words or themes and those were growth and imagination which obviously are very broad terms that was what was vital to them and so we were tasked with how do we talk about that with a visual language that's going to speak to all different types of people all different types of age groups so Jesse and I started to think about a child playing with building blocks and that a child playing with building blocks could really imagine future landscapes and infrastructure and buildings building blocks basically had the GE logo on each one so that you understood that sort of through GE's products and technologies anything was achievable if you brought your imagination to it. The piece was really a success and people, both children and adults, could understand it, could embrace it, instantly understood the message. those kind of projects that are really rewarding because the client is open to doing something creative to speak to their brand and we're given a very open canvas in which to come up with concepts. We're really looking to capture the essence of the brand, but do it in a way that was without product and that was really focused on abstraction and sort of the visual connecting with the emotional. For Sony, they have a campaign called HDNA, and it's a play on how the Sony technology has become part of our everyday fabric. Obviously, the HDNA for their campaign is a play on both their high-def technology, but also our HDNA as humans. We wanted to address that but do it in somewhat of a playful way and, and also humanize the technology. We were challenged to figure out a way to do that and we had these little molecules that were part of their campaign that we needed to work with. They're these abstract little characters that represent the DNA and we decided to create an infinite particle system out of them. They start at micro scale and have their own personality and then throughout the piece actually come together to form a human being. As we shift scales we recognize that, that we're made up of all of these things around us and a lot of that is now technology in terms of our understanding of each other and how we communicate and how we work and so the piece does that without ever actually showing any products. It's a project that is about examining the creative process itself. Not necessarily ours, just basically how people internalize and then externalize and the forms that that can take. Sort of was really looking at basically how a butterfly leaves behind a cocoon and a snake sheds its skin and the artist really leaves behind some evidence of the artistic process as well. We wanted to do it through a medium um, other than the one that we were 
usually working with. So we decided to collaborate with a choreographer and to work with a contemporary dance group called Misnomer. We're doing a motion control session with them where we're taking their movements and taking that data and then applying it to digital forms and seeing the transformative aspect that comes out through movement as one creative process. So we're really moving from a place of movement to a place of artifact and seeing how that creative process actually really occurs and, and visualizing it. Any of these pieces really is a tool for these brands to communicate and it's a way for them to express themselves and more and more they need to find a voice. They turn to designers really to express themselves and to translate in a visual way what they're trying to communicate, who they want to be, who they want to talk to, what they are. So we're tasked with that visual communication. All of these probes into different ways of interacting with space and interacting with each other, they're all experiments for what will become, you know, our ways of seeing the future.